What up, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> this is Muhammad Haji, and I am here with Hamza Bashir here. Luqman Osman. Luqman Osman. Guys, we are here, you know, hanging out in Hamza's basement, or should I say the studio? We're in the <laughs> stew right now. You know what I mean? Don't tell him, don't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> same people, new location. Yeah, same new people, podcast. new location. Exactly, exactly. We've gone for a kind of a, kind of a change. Um, and people are wondering why do we make this change? Well, we made this change because we felt like we were limiting ourselves um, in regards to some of the topics that we were talking about. We were really kind of kind of focused on sports, and unfortunately, we weren't attracting uh, as many individuals um, as we hoped uh, to be. So we've you know opened ourselves up. You know, we're going to show you guys not just uh, our sports fandom or you know you know our sports side, but we're going to kind of give you guys uh, more of a broad look as to who we are as individuals, some of our you know opinions, some of our thoughts on certain mm-hmm. things. Uh, we did uh, we did one thing other people don't do, man. We listened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to listen to the people, we man. Exactly. Um, right now we're we're rejuvenated. We have more topics to talk about. Yeah. Our visuals are better. Our audio is better. Yeah. Our content right now is better. Yeah. Bro, is this the... I'm, I'm buzzing, man. I'm absolutely you buzzing. Ready? Yeah, I'm pumped, man. Come on, what about yourself? Bro, same year, new... No, this is whatever. I guess shit's been shitty. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> I got it. you know, it's new year, new people. Yeah, this, this yeah, is... We reached it. It's really been a... It's, um, and I'm sure many of you guys know. Uh, and, you know, one of the things that we want to talk about today that, you know, it's it's, it's on everyone's mouth, every, all everyone's lips, should I say, uh, that everyone's been talking about, um, is the coronavirus, essentially. You know, this is something... Uh, that was first found uh, in December of 2019, and it's just been growing and growing and growing. It's and it's an absolute pandemic, um, and just kind of a rundown as to what the coronavirus is. So the coronavirus uh, goes has you know many different names. Um, what some of the names are like SARS, you know, COV2, yeah. uh, COVID-19. Mm-hmm. The coronavirus is what individuals just go by as well, but this. It's a respiratory infection is essentially what it is. There are, you know, some individuals who are obviously more, uh, who, 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 who it'll impact more. Um, that's typically you'll see individuals with, you know, whether it's diabetes, you know, heart problems, you know, like cardiovascular issues essentially are some of the individuals that it really attacks. Uh, and we've seen that, you know, especially here in the U.S., you know, the age ranges, uh, it really varies, but it's a lot of older individuals. So it's, it's, it's something that, you know, we're all kind of aware of. And, you know, we kind of see ourselves as like, you know, oh, we're youth. You know what I mean? We're like yeah. kind of we're very young. Alhamdulillah, we don't have any, you know, any health issues. So it's, 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 it's not, it's, you know, something that we should definitely be worried about because it could impact, uh, it, because it's impacting the world, it's impacting um, us. And so just kind of your thoughts on it. What, what have you guys so, seen so far? All right. So there's a lot to break down here. For I mean, sure. For sure. This is a flu. Yeah. If you think about it, it's a flu. Yeah. I was listening to this one Twitter video, right, by this old Somali guy, Sheikh, right? Yeah. He said, um, in latent terms, pretty simple terms, yeah. he said, um, there's two types of flus. There's the flus for the animals, and there's flus for the human beings. Yeah. So what happened here is we got the flus for the animals on us, yeah. and we're not ready for it. Yeah. Oh, you think about it, it kind of makes sense. It's very you know? simple. It's very, very simply simple. put. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. all the videos that I've watched, of all the articles that I've read, yeah. this is by far, it hit home, easiest. Yeah. 22nd clip, I was like, damn, why didn't I watch this video before I watched it? <laughs> other people's interviews yeah, yeah, yeah. and the thing is this flu has affected us in so many different ways 100 percent. us for example we're sports fiends man yeah we, yeah. we live die breathe sports that's what yeah. we are we're sports guys the fact that the nba is shut down usually in times of crisis you look at anywhere what happens is sports is the one thing that's always continuous right yeah it's because it's kind of what you can fall back it's what everyone kind of spends their time you exactly. know exactly yeah it's like it takes your mind off things right definitely definitely and first for the nba to be shut down suspended indefinitely we don't know when it's going to come back yeah for the premier league that just shut down yesterday we're in a sunday today they just confirmed that yesterday for the it didn't happen to the nfl thankfully like you know yeah it is changing uh what's it called movies are stopped restaurants have closed yeah like today we're from ohio our governor declared today on a tweet saying hey um restaurants will be shut down after nine o'clock today right yeah yeah like it's 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 affecting you in so many different ways and i think that's shocking to me was um who gets affected by it and what's it called the young like for example my little sister she's probably like what she's seven right now yeah She's probably not going to get affected as opposed to my dad, who's in his 60s right Correct, now, which yeah. is going to hit him harder. Yeah. And it's very shocking. Like, hey, like, it's it's new to us. 100%. And you don't know how to stop it. 
the only way you can do is self quarantine, you know? Yeah, yeah. And well, it's like it's every day. There's new stuff that's coming up. Stock market is going up and down, up and down, up and down. Yeah, it's 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 very things are like to say as you mentioned, the stock market is very volatile right now. There's a lot of changes going in it right now. There's so much that's happening uh, in regards to COVID nineteen or the coronavirus. Uh, we've seen uh, the number of cases um, around the world. You know, it's growing and it's growing it's growing and there's also there are a lot of individuals who may be like asymptomatic and so when you're asymptomatic you may not be showing the symptoms uh that they mention such as a fever you know like a dry cough sore throat some of those things you may not be showing it but you still may actually have it uh and one of the things that i just seen that uh happened this past week that i thought was fantastic was uh congresswoman katie porter Mm -hmm. she is the goat she was absolutely amazing so she you know, they're, you know, in Senate, you know, um, and she essentially grilled the CDC director. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, he, you <laughs> know, know President, President Trump uh, appointed him in 2018. And, you know, essentially she showed, because, you know, she studied law, you know, she studied law. She, I think she also taught law, if I'm not mistaken, uh, before becoming a congresswoman, uh, uh, because, before, you know, obviously sending the House of Representatives for the, um, in, in California, essentially. Uh, but it's it was so impressive of her just kind of going and breaking it down, down, kind of showing this is how much it costs to, 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 to you know to get tested for these certain things. It costs about thirteen hundred dollars. You know you have the authority in you know times of crisis or times like these. You know where there's a pandemic where essentially she can uh, or where, where where you know where the CDC director can you know essentially give his authority or give his authorization to kind of have some of this free testing and they'll deal with the costs. You know, the other thing is that that's very shocking right now is like there's in America, there's two different there's liberals and there's conservatives right yeah. now, right? First one I heard about the COVID-19 is the conservative are saying, hey, it's okay, man. It's not the end of the world. Yeah. Nothing, it's, it's just a flu. And the liberals saying, yo, we are, this is the same coming of Jesus. We're about to die. It's yeah. doomsday right here. Yeah. Like uh, what's it called? Uh, the sun is going to rise from the West, all that. Does it, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So you don't know what to do. And our president, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for example, and our president is uh, what's it called? Uh, he's a conservative type of minded as well. Him and Pence, right? So. He did not do any action at all at first when we heard COVID nineteen. But Correct. the moment he started taking action is when the stock market was starting to take because that's where his fortune is, right? Yeah, yeah. You look at it. That's what, like look at when Donald Trump started taking action is when the stock market was the first hit. Yeah. He started saying, oh, my God. He saw on Twitter, he said, prayers up to God. You know, this is the only time we can really rely on him. Donald Trump saying that and on then, his Twitter. And the government is injecting $1.5 trillion into. Why? Ask yourself, why is that? Yeah. It, it, man, it's, it's insane what's happening. And some of these things, it, a lot of individuals are, you know, it's kind of helping out your, like, you know, everyone has their own constituents that they want to help out. And Trump is essentially, President Trump essentially is helping out the individuals that, you know, kind of help them get in office and, and, and looking out for their best interests. And that's individuals who are on Wall Street, individuals who are, have these big businesses, so on and so forth. And so that's what's happening. Um, and it's a shame. But thankfully, uh, just recently, the House did pass. Um, uh, it, it was actually just approved in the House where they would essentially pass a bill hopefully to help out, you know, some of these kind of low-income households in regards to make sure they provide food assistance and also helping out with, you know, if they need to take sick paid leave that they can take sick paid leave as well. So that's really nice. Uh, so, Luqman, kind of, you know, what are your thoughts in regards to how it's grown rapidly, you know, from it's, you know, big, originating essentially in China, in like a seafood market in China, to now that it's in the U.S., you know, in your own backyard, uh, there's one that was detected, you know, in Franklin County, which was, you know, the county that you reside in. How do you feel about this, man? To be honest with you, I'm not much of a conspiracy theorist, okay? Okay. <laughs> not to, be, to, to be frank, okay, yeah. to be honest, yeah. there's good and bad about this thing. Okay, all right. All right. So, so I'm a school teacher, all right. And schools in Columbus, they all have like a three week off period, right? Correct, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that means there's three weeks. I'm chilling at the crib and I get paid. You know what I mean? That shit is just. I'm taking it. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's. Oh, you are getting paid, right? I'm getting paid for it. So I'm like, yo, I appreciate, I appreciate, I appreciate <laughs> it. But at the same time, I'm like, yo, this is, it sucks for people. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like, like, like in, 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 a, in the United States, there's 17,000, there's 1,700 people, 1,700 ca- uh, people, cases that are said that these people have. Coronavirus, okay? confirmed cases, yeah, yeah, confirmed okay. cases, seventeen hundred, wow, and only forty-one deaths. Yeah, you know what I mean. So to me, I'm not gonna like fucking dig myself a bunker and put myself to like go just go go into hiding. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I'm still living my life the way I want to live my life. Yeah, mm-hmm. 
with three three weeks off from yeah, work. You know what I mean? It's, it's, know, it's, it's, it's bull. It's so funny. Uh, yeah. You know, the, the we're in a group chat. You know, in our group chat, we're just clowning back and forth. <laughs> And one of the funny things was, you know, this is like so like dark, dark jokes, uh, which, you know, it's funny from time to time. <laughs> and essentially someone said, yo, the Black Plague was essentially, if you compare it to an athlete, it was like Pelé, you know. Oh. Back in the day, Pelé was playing against farmers, essentially. <laughs> the Black Plague really, it ran, it ran riot. <laughs> this, this coronavirus is like Ronaldo Messi. It's dominating the world. <laughs> oh, my God. No, it's just I kind saw- of. It's, it's hilarious, man. There's this one tweet that made me, you know, one of these tweets you just read. Yeah. And you laugh really, really hard. You didn't expect to laugh that hard. Yeah. This one tweet said, uh, coronavirus is, uh, we're trying to find humor in the darkest times right now, okay? Yeah. I know there's people, like, I'm trying to. Definitely, 100%. You know, yeah. a sympathy to everybody that has it. 100%, 100%. And we wish, tweet, well wishes to them as well. I'm saying that because this tweet was the opposite of what I wanted to say. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> this tweet said, coronavirus is running the greatest campaign we've ever seen. <laughs> Fights are cheap. Schools are closed. Yeah. <laughs> they, it's, You're getting paid rampage. to stay at home. Yeah. He said he's undefeated. Oh, unless it happens to you, though. Yeah. One, of, <laughs> one of our friends, Hood, essentially said, hey, man, honestly, you guys are talking about Sanders and Trump and Biden. He said, COVID-19's got my vote, man. It's <laughs> energy is super infectious. I'm like, what, dude? Whoa. What is wrong with you, man? <laughs> and for example, what's it called? Uh, I want to come back to real quick. Right now, it's like when, when uh, what's it called? Uh, you know what hospitals are saying, right? Especially in Indiana, what they're saying is, hey, we don't want to scroll, cl- uh, close schools. Yeah. We're like, whoa, whoa, what do you mean you don't want to close schools? That means if you close uh, schools, guess what happens? The nurse doesn't have a babysitter for a kid anymore. Yeah. You know? Like, that, that's a huge impact. So they're saying let the schools be open so the doctors and everybody can work constantly. Like, for example, one of our friends, Anissa, she works, she was constantly posting is, like, the kids are being fed in school as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's a huge impact. Where, indiv- where essentially, yeah, some kids, yeah. that's that's where they, you know, eat breakfast and lunch, or, you know, they wouldn't be able to have it at home. And so, yeah. you know, there are some, you know, some, some obviously, Columbus City Schools is one of the, you know, biggest uh, schools. Uh, it's the biggest district in, in Ohio, in time, yeah. and, and, and it's helping in regards to kind of, you know, still being able to provide breakfast and lunches uh, yeah, to these like, students under 18 like years old. Like, what's it called? Uh, you ever sometimes, like, for example, this happened to me this summer, right? Okay. I had a cut in my thumb. I never realized how important my thumb was yeah. until I had that cut. Interesting. The simplest thing. I couldn't tie my, my, my what's it called? <laughs> yeah. My Lineups, shirt. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't zip up. Like, when I'm driving, I had to put my thumb out. Yeah. I couldn't type. You know, my space bar. This is my space bar thumb. Yeah. You know? <laughs> very important. Very, very important. important. Yeah. My pen. Yeah. It's like little things that you don't <laughs> realize. It's very important. Yeah, for sure. What COVID-19 is doing is showing you, hey, this is very important. I want you to understand that. Like, schools being closed. Like, I have siblings right now. They're, they're chilling. Telling, you know what they're telling me? Yeah. What should I do? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like questions we ask generally ourselves, right? Yeah. What is the bigger impact on us? And that, we don't know. Well, it's it's bigger than us. Right it is. Now. It is. It is bigger than us. Dude, uh, I'm not. I'm not much of a conspiracy theorist. Okay. okay. Yeah. I don't really <laughs> care for conspiracies. <laughs> I don't care for. I don't care for like what people like stuff like that. I don't for sure. Care. For sure. All right. But what's happening next year in America? That like shit, right? That is correct. All right. So so so. Couple years ago, a couple years ago, everybody thought that that the Russians, uh, uh, they 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 had a part to play in our elections last year, yeah. and that's how Trump got elected, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, because because okay. of all the email and all the stuff that all the was tampering happening. that was yeah, going on, tampering, with Facebook and yeah, everything, and and like that email, whatever her name was, the lady uh, Hillary, Hillary, Hillary Clinton, Clinton yeah. and her email and all that, the current, and how the Russians, <laughs> yeah. how the Russians like out of that like a couple of weeks before the elections and everything, which swayed a lot of people's votes. Yeah, yeah. Right, so. So this year, right? This year is a, is a big year for for Democrats who are or and other pe- part of people who are trying to run for president, right? Definitely. So so Trump, everybody, I, well, everybody you see, well, in my circle, because yeah. I can't speak for everybody else, Definitely. but everybody I see in my circle, the things I watch, the podcasts I listen to, the where I go, that the people I know are not supporters of Trump. Okay. Yeah. So my in my in my bubble. Yeah. People in my bubble don't support Trump. Yeah. They're not big fans of Trump. Yeah. Okay, so, so, so to me, this is where my conspiracy, my ignorance comes from. Okay, yeah. <laughs> dude, one of my favorite, one of my favorite podcasts is uh, this one, Charlemagne and Andrew Shorts, where they, they're brilliant idiots. Yeah. Their, their ignorance just flies crazy. Okay, hundred percent. All right, so I have a lot. There's a lot of there's a lot of influence. They that I bring that come from them from into me, right? Yeah. So, so with my ignorance, I think. Trump planted the virus in the country that has the highest population in the world. Yeah. Right? And let it run wild. 
and let it reach America and scare people. And then when Trump brings up and his and his staff, when they bring up a cure for the most deadliest disease since whatever, yeah, right? Yeah. Everybody's gonna feel that that that, that gratitude, that 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 love for him. That, that, that he's handled it very yeah, well. Yeah, like, like uh, look at this guy. Like like Obama couldn't deal with a disease like this. <laughs> like 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 look at the look at the way uh, Bush dealt with nine yeah. eleven. We've been in a war. We've been in wars for the last what nineteen years. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's be like look how quickly Trump handled this in one year. You know, it's, look it's, at his staff. A lot of presidents so, do kind of focus on their legacy as well. Uh, but it could also be. You know, our, our homies from North Korea, you know, they said they were going to give us a gift come December, you know, come Christmas time. And this happens to come out they shortly delivered. before Christmas. They, I'm just they saying, delivered. it's here now. There's a lot of villains in the world. We're just looking for our heroes. Yeah. You know I think Bernie's that hero, but I don't know. I'm just speaking for myself. Make everything free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, we need that free health care. People dying of... You know what he's doing? What's it called? You see that tweet? Uh, what's it called? That was one photo, right? They posted on... I think they, I'm not sure. It was posted somewhere. It's not uh, Bernie Sanders on a Somali type of rug. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, he was sitting on that Somali type of rug, just crisscrossed his legs. He said, this this man really is Somali. We need to vote for this yeah. guy. <laughs> but it's, another thing. Oh, sorry. Tanner, no, 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 thing, no, no. Another thing I was reading, right? They said, uh, I was reading this article. They said, why do, why do most of the sickness come from China? Interesting, right? yeah. They said, the, the idea of the flu. You know who carries the flu? I don't even know. This is very interesting. Okay, please. Yeah, you know, What us. carries the flu is the ducks, apparently. Oh, wow, okay. So we... How do we? What is the there? What's the gap for us and ducks? Is pigs? Yeah. Meaning ducks take a shit. They do. That's where the flu it ends there. Like what transmits to us is the pigs. The pigs will eat anything. Yeah. And guess what we do? There is apparently China has the highest population of pigs in there, and they told us when the pigs consume the duck shit. Correct. We eat the pigs. Yeah. yeah. You know the human beings eat it, and guess what happens? Yeah. We yeah, contain the flu. Yeah. yeah. It's like the it's like a like a chain chain reaction yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So thank God. That's essentially how the swine flu uh, started back in like oh nine. Yeah, yeah, it was because like, of that. But uh, apparently, the flu kills at least fifty thousand people a year. I did not know that. Yeah, the flu has it's like a point one percent like uh, more t- like death rate mortality yeah. rate. Essentially, is what they're I saying. I had like for example earlier this year, I'm never usually sick from cold. Yeah. Like I just charge it to the game. I have a few. I just go on with my day. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I have a stuffed nose. I have a little fever. It's gonna go away. What happens is I got the flu. I was weak, man. Yeah. I'm a pretty big guy. Yeah, it takes yeah. a lot of energy to move me around. Correct. I could not even lift my pillow. Yeah. Like, I was for a good two weeks. And I was like, holy shit. Like, to, like when I heard about the coronavirus, I said, imagine this happened to elderly, you know? Yeah. So, it, yeah, that is so, like, you know, this could have, you could have, who knows, you could have had the coronavirus. Like, we don't we don't know. You know, it may have just been a regular fever, you know. Regular, I just shitted it, it out. It could have just been a flu. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. <laughs> <laughs> it but no, it is, it is, it's, man, it's crazy that, you know, how big it's grown and it's going to keep growing, yo. Supposedly it's going to hit at least a third of the Americans. That's mm-hmm. over 100 million people essentially are going to at one point, at some point in time, have the coronavirus. And, you know, the supposedly, I think there was some stats showing that, um, where that it could be up to about, Four hundred, eight, about five hundred thousand people, half a million people, could mm-hmm. die from the coronavirus from some of these uh, stats that they were showing. Because right now the death rate is about three percent is the death rate. Yeah, only um, five thousand. But there's also a lot of individuals who haven't tested and who you know who who are asymptomatic. So that you know it may be a little bit lower. But in, in regards to just kind of the numbers that we have, the confirmed cases and the confirmed deaths, it is somewhere around three percent. I know. Which is high. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. You know? And uh, what's it called? Another thing that's very surprising is um, how does this spread, right? Yeah. Like, how is this thing spreading so fast? It's like exponential function. Yeah, like yeah. The math nerds out there. Yeah. <laughs> e to the X type of thing, you know? Like, let's say I talk to you. Let's say I have the virus today. Say so, yeah, I dab you up. So, sub, sub, how are you doing? Yeah. That means you're, you're, you're you, you are contacted me. Correct. Right? What you going to do? You're going to dab up a Luqman. So, that means it's three of us. You ever played, you ever played Manhunt? No. no. Manhunt is essentially like a game of like, let's say 20 people, and it starts off with one guy. So that guy catches you. Guess what? You're on his team, so you're going to help him hunt the ah, other people. Ah, gotcha, yeah. So every person you catch, it's on your team. Yeah, yeah. So this is essentially a big manhunt, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, and, so, and, 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 and you, you, you know, the, I guess the, the technical term for manhunt is by community spread is what it's called. Uh-huh. You know, around the community. So it, it, it's by person to person contact. It's not airborne or, or, or for, you know, that's what they've seen so far that it isn't airborne. But yeah, it's regards to kind of you cough and, you know, just kind of some of the particles goes and 
lands on Luqman's lip for, for all of a sudden. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. R.I.P. <laughs> Masoud. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, it's, geez, dude. It's things like that. Yeah, and, and the infection rate um, is about, oh, about two and a half people is what they're saying it is. Uh, the infection rate is roughly about two and a half people. So, my, yeah, so hopefully, you know, we obviously wish everyone well. We hope, you know, everyone stays well. But um, kind of moving on, you know, what, you know, you mentioned that, you know, that you're off for the next three weeks and you haven't paid leave. Like, what are you going to do in these next three weeks? What do you have planned? I want to talk to you. I want to talk to your committee, fam. Yeah. I'm working. Yeah. <laughs> I've worked. I play, I'm, I'm still working as well, man. Yeah, my, my plan is a three S's, man. I'm just bro, being a teacher. Shit, sleep in here. Shit, shower, sleep like, That's it, bro. Nigga, yes. <laughs> being a teacher is the only job that you have a summer off. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, and some teachers get paid during the summer as well. So, yeah. yeah. Look at that. Look no, at but that. Like, the long career, fam. <laughs> we're on a, what, there's what, uh, seven billion people in the world. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and, uh, so, yeah. and it's, uh, the, in Corona, there's only been 135 countries that has been affected by the Corona. This, this is way more than most. I think there's 194 countries in the world. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's almost every country other than what 60, and then, uh, then there's. A hundred thousand, a hundred thousand people, hundred thousand, uh, hundred and forty-two thousand people has been has the cases. That's confirmed, yeah, yeah, it's confirmed cases. Only five thousand deaths. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know. I'm a, I'm gonna live my life the way I did yeah. yesterday, my guy. I don't know. But it's crazy to see how well, like a country like South Korea, is able to kind of do some of the testing. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. uh, there was a certain cult in South Korea that essentially they knew that they had it and they were intentionally giving it to other individuals. That's like, crazy. And so, you know, the South Korean government, what they they started doing like drive-by testing, the drive-through testing, yeah. where they'll go, you'll go, they'll, you know, the, the test essentially requires like a certain like swab, right? Mm. They'll do it in your nose and essentially your nasal passage is where they'll do it. They'll remove, take it out, you know, they'll put it, obviously put it away. They use like this little, I don't know what some of the devices are called. Yeah, um, <laughs> but it goes through the process, right? It goes through like an e-plex machine, so on and so forth. And then within, you know, a few hours, they can determine uh, whether you do have the coronavirus or not. And so South Korea is doing about 10,000 tests a day. While the CDC here in the U.S., they were only taking it for specific cases where you, I, you, know, you had to make sure that you traveled to China recently. Boom. Like you feel some of these symptoms. But, so oh, you yeah, have to meet a certain criteria yeah, yeah, yeah. for you to even get tested. Um, and yeah, man. So no, South Korea has done a wonderful job in, in, in you know, their kind of whole process. But from some of the numbers that I'm seeing in regards to coming from China, sound that, that like they have, they have fewer than like 30 cases a week now. I'm like, that is real questionable. There's no way. Oh, look, did you see um, that? That's possible. Did you see? Um, uh, they asked. Uh, they asked Iran, right? They yeah. Said, what's your uh, what's your death rate? They give like a very low number, and then um, all of a sudden, someone took a satellite photo. Of them digging massive graves, trenches of huge graves. Yeah, yeah. Like they're actually they're lying, you know, they're not telling the exact truth. Yeah, I heard they already had like thousands of deaths. No, mm-hmm. they only have five hundred fourteen. Five. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Close enough. Yeah, that's. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. For example, like when you see South Korea, right? And I don't know if this is true or not. <laughs> Korea, South Korea, the Republic North of Korea, Korea only has seventy-two. <laughs> They said the one guy they uh, North Korea found out one guy has coronavirus. Oh yeah, oh, they and shot guess him. what happened? Yeah. They shot him. Yeah, <laughs> can't have it spread, baby. Yeah, imagine, can't let this guy spread it. <laughs> imagine, imagine you thinking, oh my god, bro. They said, yo, give me one second. The doctor said, give me one second. Yeah. The guy goes to the next room, comes with Glock 19, <laughs> spray his ass up, man. He said, you got what now? <laughs> <laughs> you got c- coronavirus. <laughs> Oh man! It was midnight when I see that. Yeah, when I, see that. <laughs> I screamed, bro. <laughs> no, no, man. I, like me, what am I gonna do during this time? Like, listen, you know, sports is obviously a big part of my life, right? So Huge. we can't, bro. I've, I've started watching like the 1984 NBA Finals, yo. Oh like, my. like it's all blurry. It's like terrible quality. The like Minecraft pixels. Yeah, my yeah, like it's pixelated as hell, dude. I've <laughs> I've spent my time doing that. Like, you know, I. My friends and I will like all, you know, we'll meet up, but we'll all make sure to give each other a little bit of distance. Your hand sanitizer, the, 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 the shit out of our hands, obviously. Talk about the Kroger. Yeah, what yeah. have in Kroger, man? You got men with face masks and gloves playing a card game. Like, it's ridiculous now, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> all the elbow daps. Yeah, elbow, yeah, 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 bro. You don't, oh, yeah. my gosh. What's it called? Another thing is, um, what's it called? Uh, the stories, right? Yeah. I live right next to Meyer right here. <laughs> my dad usually comes around like, uh, comes out of work around two. Okay. So he usually stops by a Kroger, if, like Meyer, if we need something. Yeah. <laughs> Men's got in there. <laughs> Empty as hell. It's not that it's empty. He said, Hamza, every single cart was being used. <laughs> That's crazy, man. We, we need some milk, you know? Yeah. We all need milk, fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
This guy goes to the floor. He said, there's nothing there. So he didn't know what was going on the floor or anything. This is the first time. This guy's confused. Yeah. What's going on? My name is not a phone type of thing. I said, that FaceTime me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> he always seen people. Like, Why? People are fighting, dog. It and was, the best part is people with Somali was confusion. What the hell is going on here? Yo, what I one of the craziest things was like, if you go out into like a supermarket now, right? You try and go buy something. You lot have like, there's no vegetables there. There's no fruits there. There's no milk there. Like a lot of these things have an expiration date. They're like, they, you know, they're perishable items. Where in times of crisis, typically you want to get non-perishable items. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like canned foods, canned, uh, you know, meats, whatever it may be. Some of these canned vegetables, so on and so forth. And individuals are simply like, that's what you need. You know, you yeah. want to go ahead and create a bunker, get things like this. Don't stock up on toilet paper, bro. It's of like, all the things, yeah. The, <laughs> Father, why, you, bro? Yeah. Why, why do you need? I'm I'm so confused. Yeah. Right? Why are people going for toilet paper rather than the essentials that we actually need? It, it makes no sense right, to me, man. man. You gotta wait. You gotta wash that ass. <laughs> you know what I mean? He just. That's true, man. You gotta yeah. wash your cheeks. But hey, man, you got people need to use water as well, man. Yeah. What's, what what's all mean? this wiping go? You know, someone said, someone said, I gotta start using water now. I'm like, you disgusting. Oh, there's this, there's this famous you know doctor. Like? There's this famous doctor on Breakfast Club. Uh, he's like, he has his own TV show and shit. I forgot his name. But then they were, they were talking, they were asking about like, uh, like people who wash their ass, right? And he was like, you know what you do? Bro, garlic, garlic people are disgusting. He said, you, so you get you get paper towel, you, you put it on, you wrap it around your hand, and then you spit in it, and you wipe your ass. I'm like, what? Why you just grab the, turn on the water in the faucet, and then just bop, and then just do your shit. What like, did Trevor Noah say? Trevor Noah right. said, he said, what's it called? The, what if I don't have toilet paper? Oh my God, I'm in a bathroom with water, and there's a shower. Oh, how am I going to clean myself? <laughs> you know? Yeah, like, the, oh, bro, it's, abs- yeah. it's crazy, man. But no, uh, I do really want to move on and kind of talk about the impact that this has on sports. So, in regards to sports, we've seen almost every professional or semi-professional sport, you know, collegiate athletes, so on and so forth, all get shut down and canceled. And you also have to kind of take into consideration a lot of the summer cup competitions that were coming up, whether it was the Euros, whether it was, you know, Olympics. the Olympics in Tokyo. Like, so many things were happening in sports, and everything is getting shifted now. And you also got to take into consideration – in two years from now, when it's the World Cup 2022, that was going to be held during the winter period because it's being held in Qatar, which is obviously very hot in, 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 in Qatar. Um, so all this, like, they have to kind of take into account and, and you know, into consideration a lot of these leagues and how they're going to be able to kind of adjust and still play their games by also changing it. Um, and one league right now, one of the biggest leagues in the world right now that doesn't have to worry about any of this is the NFL. The NFL doesn't start until, you know, the fall. September. Yeah, September. Same thing with collegiate, like college football as well, where it doesn't start until, you know, uh, August, you know, and September area that, you know, there right now, they're hoping that it kind of dies down. But in regards to kind of depending on, you know, what we've heard and what we've seen now that this, it's only going to skyrocket. The coronavirus is going to just go sky high Mm -hmm. and then it's trying to level off. You know what I mean? But hopefully this kind of social distancing that individuals are kind of using they kind of want to make it a flat line. They want to kind of even it out, you know, kind of make it lower. Right. Uh, so that's why individuals are advocating kind of social distancing, making sure you wash your hands, making sure you don't touch your face, so on and so forth. Uh, but sports is what we're about. You know, yeah, it's so what we love. Uh, <laughs> and we're without it for a while now, guys. So. It's weird. Yeah. Man's got watching 1984 Celtics games. Not even 84, right? Uh, you do it? It? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was 84 Celtics 84 Lakers. But what's something else that I've been doing, you know, in my free time is playing Dungeons and Dragons. I was playing Dungeons and Dragons with some, some with some friends from work. I need to learn how to play that game, man. I've never played fire. it. If you have it an is. actual like played. real uh, game master, yeah. yeah, the game master is good. Yeah, hundred percent. The story is going on good. Yeah. The game is fire. So we're we'll running this right after this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we we'll might as well run a game real quick, man. <laughs> we might as well. Yeah, right. this whole podcast I'll episode of Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> it required like a lot of creativity. Hey, stay I tuned. Didn't, I didn't think it had a lot of creativity. It's so much. Yeah, but it's oh. it's it's really fun as long as yeah, as you mentioned, like the dungeon master, if they're if they're good. At storytelling, at helping the you know some of some of some of the new individuals kind of playing the game, yeah. it's a quality game, man. I'm gonna I'm do some research. For example, yeah. I want to come back to uh, what's it called, the uh, sports, right? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. We're sports fiends, bro. Yeah. Give me my line real it's, quick. It's in, in my blood, man. It's in my blood. Like, for example, yesterday was a, what's it called, the um, Saturday. Okay. We have NBA games usually on, right? Yeah, you know, yeah. Like we see, uh, no Sunday, it's Sunday showcases. Yeah. And it just. Yeah, it just threw me off, bro. Nothing there. There's nothing there. Yeah. Like, usually I get a highlight here. If I'm not watching a game, I get a highlight notification. Group chat just buzz it. Yeah. Snapchats are coming. You know, like, usually something, it's just dead. Dude, quiet. coming to the studio, I drove by a few churches, right? It's Sunday right now. Yeah. Churches were empty. Absolutely empty. empty yeah. Not a soul there. And, for example, uh, we're, 
okay, sports is being affected in many ways, right? For example, in the NBA, I want to be more specific right now, is there's pros and cons to everything. You look at it. Yeah. The question is, what lens are you going to use to look through, right? Definitely. I'm going to go through the pro. The con case is money's going to be lost for the, for the what's it called, the TV, uh, TV stations. Correct. Us as fans, we have nothing to consume. Mm-hmm. What is the pros of this? So, for example, the NBA, you can, you can look at Adam Silver can go two ways. Adam Silver is the commissioner of the NBA, for those of you who don't know. Um, he's a very progressive guy. He's pro player, pro gambling. He pushes everything, listens to his stars, he takes care of his stars. And the NBA is one of yeah. the leagues that actually takes takes risks. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They listen and then they actually act on it. Yeah. Even though NFL does as well, NFL will change rules mid season. Yeah. But we're gonna come NBA is going right now, right now. So what Adam Silver what we always wanted is to be honest with you, eighty two game season is a lot. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Eighty two yeah. season in my opinion, eighty two season is a lot. Like For not sure. even that diest hard fan. Might miss a game a couple of two. And you look at the playoffs, right? You don't need this. In, in, NBA is the only team, is only the SL to call the mm-hmm. league, where you have a higher chance of making the playoffs than missing the playoffs. There's 30 teams and there's 16 spots. Yeah. It's like a 50 something percent chance of you making the playoffs. Correct. And 40 percent chance of you not making it. That's not very com- competitive. Now you look at it, seven game series. Uh, let's be frank, right? The first round, you don't need. You don't need uh, the Grizzlies playing against the Lakers for seven games to really understand who's better. <laughs> okay. You don't, right? <laughs> okay. Let's be honest. Yeah, right? yeah, okay. <laughs> so this is a time for Adam Silver to experiment right now, right? He is the commissioner, meaning he talks to TV deals. He makes all that. He can go to the ABC and ESP, uh, ABC and TNT and tell me, yo, I have a product for you. Instead of doing all these games, I want to do these. This is a coronavirus area. He's going to say, yo, either I give you no games, I cancel the whole thing. Or, we or I'm gonna just give, I'm gonna give you some content to at least put up instead of putting up reruns, you know? Yeah. There's a hell of reruns going on right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. So the run is a perfect time to experiment. Hey, we expanded in 2020, it didn't work out. Or maybe, oh my god, it worked out very well. Yeah. And another pros are you look at the players right now. Players, some of them are quite like uh Rudy Gobert. People are banning it like yelling at him. For what he's done, yeah. 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 In my opinion, bro, guess what? He was just trying to be humorous about the situation. Yeah, but yeah, so if you guys don't know what Rudy Gobert did, um so he uh, was later found uh, to test positive for the coronavirus. But, you know, while he was, you know, with the media and the media was interviewing him afterwards, he kind of like coughed and he put like his hands essentially all over a lot of the recorders, over the microphones and so on and so forth, kind of as a joke. Um, and, you know, later on there was, you know, he tested positive for the coronavirus and, and he apologized and he received a ton of bashing. And he also, you know, his oh, yeah. teammate, uh, Donovan Mitchell, who also tested positive for the coronavirus, and some individuals that obviously he played against. Um, but, like, it's yeah, you don't want to kind of take this as a joke lightly. You know, you mm-hmm. want to make sure if you are kind of feeling some of these symptoms, um, or even if you're not, you know, just kind of be wary, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, yeah, like, this could be kind of testing that, you know, the NBA could do. And Another thing is, another up. beautiful thing is um, is how, for example, this is this – is, uh, Bro, when I just look at LeBron James, we're a big Le- I'm not a big LeBron fan. Yeah. You know, how can you not like excellence, you know, when you see mm-hmm. in front of you? Shout out to him. He's from Ohio, 614. 614. Yeah. Kid from Akron. <laughs> what is LeBron James right now? What has he been doing all throughout this year? He's been actually going crazy. LeBron never takes a regular season this much serious. Yeah. He picks his nights. He's not going to play back-to-back against Denver yeah. on a Tuesday night. Yeah. Who's going to watch, you know? <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> Denver's a pretty good team. They are. Yeah. They are. They are. But two years ago, this joke would have been relevant. For you know? sure. <laughs> right, 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 right. Uh, what's it called? Um, he picks his moments. He's the guy, uh, besides the Spurs, he used to uh, do uh, what's it called? Uh, load management before it was actually yeah. big, you know, right? LeBron James has gone off this season, take the regular season, playing defense for the first time in a couple of years. Nah, Shown. The high no, no, I'm saying that's defense. Yeah. He's that's been true. playing. That's true, though. Okay, he's been, okay, he's okay. been more. Whatever yeah. he was doing was good, but he's been even more than that. Okay, okay. Especially last year was her, it was t- garbage. Yeah. Well, he was injured last year. But LeBron James goes ham, first seed, four games in advance, and then told him, yo, take, he's 35 years old, by the way, 17th year in the 36. season. He's 36 now? Think yeah, so. December. Yeah. December. He just turned 36, yeah. He just turned 36. He's 36 years old, and you're telling this guy to take four weeks off? Well, he already developed his chemistry. Yeah. Now, the bad thing in the con side of it, I told you, you can look at negative or positive. You know what's the bad side? What? You know when sometimes you're wearing your momentum, right? You go and you see, like, uh, what's it called? Two teams going back and forth. They hit the three. Then they dunk fast break. And the ref, the coach says, Tama, 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 Tama. Yeah. Right? 35 right? December. Yeah. 
He turns 35. He turned 35. He turned 35, okay, right? 35, okay. Yeah, it's like the momentum, and then the referee, the coach says, time out, time out. And then you yell, yes, thank God they call a time out, right? Yeah. Because you're killing the momentum. Yeah. The one team that was actually starting to gain momentum was the the, the people in the basement, the Clippers. Yeah. What were they doing? They were going a 10-game winning streak. They lost the uh, they, they did. Yeah, they did. It's okay, though. Yeah. Take it to the chest. You already want to. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, and that's very bad because you're seeing the full – Squad playing finally, yeah, finally, together, yeah. and what happens? You're gonna give them four weeks off. You it's, kill the momentum. It's tough, man. But you have to also take into consideration the number of fans coming out. You know how they're traveling, so they, you know, they're 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 more prone to kind of get it compared to other individuals. Um, the hotels that they're staying at, you know, whether it's some of the places that they're visiting. Uh, so I do understand that the you know all these leagues, whether it's football, soccer, golf, NASCAR, whatever it may be, you know what I mean, hockey. Um, where it's all being canceled 100% makes sense. But I just think uh, that, you know, because we're going to kind of, you know, we're going to see an uptick. There's no way it's going to slow down. It's going to keep going. So just cancel the season. You know what I mean? Like, you can't just say we're going to suspend it for a few, for um, like 30 days, and then we're going to come back and we're going to reassess the situation where, you know, according to the numbers, it's not going to slow down. It's not no. going to stop whatsoever. Uh, As a Man U fan, you were like, you don't want to, live I, to lift that trophy, I, huh? I, I, no, I don't at all. But I do want a Champions League spot. But, like, <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it's, no, it's, it's no, what I want. Talking about sports, dude. So like, do you think it should be canceled, though, Lohman? Do you think right. they should suspend the seeds and they should just move on? The whole NBA season? Yeah, the, just all, from all these sports. Should no. they scrap the season? No, 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 no. I think I they, no. they do. You think that's too extreme? I feel like I've been coming from the same perspective this whole time where I don't think Corona is going to be as impactful as people are calling it out, going out to say. Yeah, it's... It's killed a lot of people, and 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 our prayers go out to the five thousand people that's reported dead, yeah. right? And and hopefully those families grieve and they we find a cure in, in time. Yeah. But we're in twenty twenty. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I feel like our our doctors, our medical staffs, our our way of finding cures is is like no other like no other time, right? But you also have to take into consideration that. You know, a vaccine hasn't been found, and it's going to take a while before one gets found. And even when it does get found, for it to be mass produced to everyone, mm, the I mass production mass. is one of the toughest things that you know that individuals have to do. So they could not only produce it, but also distribute it. Just so that is like, that's good. That takes at least a year right there just to do that. Mm. So this is not going to slow down at any time. Mm. It can um, be, nah, dude, and it's dude. it's a lot worse than you think, Muhammad. Nah. It is a lot worse than you think. Bro, twenty twenty is two things. You can see twenty twenty. Choose how you see it, right? Yeah. It can either be the worst year we've ever lived in. Yeah. No, starting off, it's the worst. Starting year. off, right? You guys say, yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. or we can have the greatest fall we've ever seen. Yeah. We can have every single sport played in fall. Yeah. LeBron James, yeah. Lionel Messi, Patrick Mahomes, yeah. all of them, Tiger Woods, Roger Federer, all in August. Yeah. The August, the the whole season. Dude. We could we could choose, bro. What do we want? Where we are in one of the one of the one of the best months in all of sports. When a normal in a normal timeline of a of a year, okay, without crazy diseases and stuff, we are probably one of the best months in March, right? March is it's it's literally called March Madness for a reason, yeah, right. And they've literally taken that all out. There's 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 uh so in in college, continuing my topic on college in college football, there's this there's relegations of when you can recruit kids and when you can't recruit kids and like what's going on and like the dead periods and all that so in march and april that's when kids are allowed to make their visits to high colleges so high school kids that's when they make their visits they're allowed to go to colleges that's all some a lot of school every school took that out so no kids are able to travel to colleges to figure out which college they want to go to too so uh and 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 then, like, a lot of Big Ten teams. Big Ten, which is the uh, Midwest, if you don't know what that is. is if, if you're listening to River Elf's yeah. places, and Midwest is, like, think think uh, Illinois to um, Ruggers, I guess. Yeah. That's what the Big Ten is. That's uh, almost every state in between those cities, I guess. Yeah. Illinois is a state, and then Ruggers is a city. Well, New York, whatever. Yeah. And put it together, right? Ruggers in New Jersey. I don't know where Rutgers is. Somewhere is New York, Maryland? New Jersey, no, somewhere. Yeah. All right, so they they they've canceled all the spring football. That's yeah. that's 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 the that's the game that a lot of fans see to see. Oh, this is what my uh, the high college team I support. This is what they're gonna look like 
come like the season. You know, I mean, these are the kids that are coming in, the kids yeah, that are practicing. Yeah. A lot of big things. So, Corona's it's it's killing a lot of sports. Yeah. It's killing a lot of sport times. Uh, I'm, I'm really upset that it, what they're doing with March Madness. I feel like March Madness is probably the top five best times in sports throughout yeah. the year. Yeah. And the surrender, Cinderella stories that we can see, the, the brackets, yeah. the betting, all that is it's, just it's a ton of fun. back to back really games. Ex- yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's really an experience. But it's crazy. If you think about it, March Madness asks us as fans one thing that other sports doesn't. It asks thousands of fans to travel for a couple two weeks yeah. and just come watch us, rather yeah. than NFL, you know, yeah. or the basketball. Yeah, this is you're asking thirty, it was sixty four teams come together. And their families, and their schools, and their fans. Like you're asking that much people to come into an area. Yeah. Which is I was it canceled. Might be a bit too far. Yeah. But we don't know what the future holds, though. Yeah. I think it was May Madness. But you have to take into consideration a lot of these kids are you know potentially going to go to the NBA. So not a lot. You have to. Yeah, but still, you know, there, there's a good portion that's going to go to the NBA. So they may not have a choice, but you know, to kind of prove themselves. But you also have to look at. A lot of the seniors, where they, you know, this was their time to prove themselves, mm-hmm. to be adequate players, or you know, to become, you know, future professionals. Uh, but there's a ton of shifts right now that's going on in regards to sports. Uh, there's a lot of change that's happening, and we're gonna see, you know, what happens uh, in the coming months as to if there's something that they want to resume or if they kind of, you know, want to move on from it. Uh, but yeah, man, coronavirus, I, I, it is an absolute pandemic. Um, it's gonna keep growing. Uh, who knows? You may not go back to school for the rest of the year. That's how serious. Oh yeah! It is. Shout out to Ohio State. Nah, shout out to Ohio State. Yeah, <laughs> everything's online now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Down, you, you might have to look for you might have to look for a second job now. <laughs> <laughs> but now nah, we'll 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 see how it goes. But yeah. now nah, we wish everyone, uh, you know, well wishes. Be, please be safe. Um, obviously, you want to make sure that you don't. Uh, do I guess unnecessary things in regards to kind of going out time you know kind of just keep yourself isolated practice social distancing um, make sure you wash your hands um, and you know not to touch your you know eyes nose mouth or whatever uh, if your hands happen to be dirty you know carry around a small little hand sanitizer bottle whatever it may be Uh, but guys please stay safe that is a word you know make sure to hit that subscribe button definitely make sure to share yes make sure to tell your friends tell a friend tell a friend exactly the all purpose podcast i'm just trying to rhyme (laughs) (laughs) it's all purpose podcast yep yep and we out stay blessed